one of the custom rooms which is quite famous and you might already know about this one i'm talking about aospa or you can say paranoid android for some of the devices it's available unofficially and for some of the devices it's available officially like some other custom rooms because this is an open source android project so you can try it out on a device in case you want to it is available for a few of the devices based on the latest android 15 version Having some of the things included, let's just quickly talk about some of the things. For example, moving into the default launcher. As you can see, we have similar kind of things available. But one thing, if you are able to notice in this case, is called circle to search. But including that, everything seems to be similar here. The last time when I made a video on this custom room, the circle to search feature was not there as far as I know. But now it's already included and implemented and it's working perfectly fine. Definitely, if it is not working for you, you just have to update Google app once on a device and things will be okay for you. Everything else seems to be similar one. Paranoid Android seems to be uh, one of the most stable custom rooms for some of the devices. Depends upon if you are using official version or not, but seems quite interesting one. Let me show you one more thing. In case you don't know, whenever you try to, I mean, if you try to see the, about the circle search thing, it will download feature for Google, something like that. And it will show you this activating circle to search sometimes. And if it is there, which means it's good. If it is not there, you can see if it is working fine or not. Simply update Google app once and you're done. One more thing is regarding the quick settings panel. You will notice this is in light mode as compared to dark mode in some of the custom rooms. So it doesn't matter if you use a light mode or dark mode. If you use a light mode, you will see the light quick settings panel. If you use a dark mode, you will see the dark quick settings panel. This is not one of the most customizable custom rooms out there, but this is still having few useful tweaks here and there. For example, Google Photos unlimited backup. This is in unofficial version, so not so sure if it is available in official version or not, because right now in many custom rooms, in many devices, some of the things are quite similar, unofficial or official. That is why I'm showing you this. Although it's based on the latest Android 15 QPR update, some odds features and the private space because this is already part of Android 15. It's already here. It's working fine. You can use private space in, in case you want to. And this is one of the best features available with Android 15 so far, even while making this video, because Android 15 have only few features source side I'm talking about. And private space is just one of the best options out there, a bit different from work profile, which you always get in Android. If you move on to gestures, you will find screen off gestures. In usual, some other Android devices, some other custom rooms, you will find double tap to wake. But in this case, you have custom gestures available. So you can open dialer, camera, music change, toggle flashlight and so on by simply double tapping on, on your screen while it is off. And this is what we have. So these were things I just wanted to let you know some of the wallpapers. Previously, there was a wallpaper app named as Abstract. You can also get that from Google Play Store in case you want all these wallpapers on your device too. But these wallpapers are pre-installed. If you want to try it out, you can. Link is there in the description. This is it. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this video. If you like this, make sure to drop a like. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We'll see you in the next one. Take care.